I've been messing around with this whole hunt glitch that I've been talking about and trying to get myself to spawn in a location that I desire can prove to be challenging on some occasions but upon testing I've come to a realization in the mechanics of this game I'm in regards to this topic now if you just log out somewhere in this swamp area, just some random location, like in the water or some muddy spot, when you log back in, you know, using free roam, like if you, if you go to story mode and exit out and save your location, or you go free roam and hop servers and it saves your location, then when you log back in, it's going to put you in some random spot in the vicinity of where you're located. Okay, now everybody here is just like, yeah, well, duh. Everybody knows that, right? Well, yeah, that's 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 the baseline, though. We all know that. But what I figured out is if you're standing in a street, in a road, and you log out properly, like go exit through story mode or hop servers using free roam, then... You log back in, and you find yourself in the road again. Like, right where you left off. The majority of the time. Doesn't work 100% of the time. But the majority of the time, if you log out while you're in a road, when you log back in, you're going to be right where you left off. And I thought that's pretty valuable information. If you're trying to set yourself up to spawn in a certain location, use a road to do it. Now, there's some other things to keep in mind in regards to this method. And that's if I tried on the bridge and I didn't end up spawning back in on the bridge, I was next to it. And then I tried also on the wooden walkway, which I guess you would also consider to be a bridge, but it's only like six inches above the ground. And that was very similar to the bridge as well as where when I spawned in... I was no longer on the bridge, but I was still very close to it. So you can't spawn in on top of a bridge, but it appears that if you are on a bridge, it will spawn you in as close as it can get you to that spot you spawned out at. So now I'm at this location here, and I'm going to kind of like do a little bit of farming, you know? I logged in one time, as you probably saw at the beginning of the video, Killed some heron and some spoonbill and skinned them up. All right. Now, ideally, I really want to get crane because crane dropped three feathers, a dollar twenty per feather. So that's three dollars and sixty cents just in feathers off of a crane. So, like, if I don't have crane and pelican are really good too. So, if I don't have a crane or a pelican at least bagged one of those, I really don't want to make a trip back to the butcher. And I just killed the crane. That was the second bird kill I, I killed here. It's the one that's just northeast of me. This this one right here, I'm going straight to the crane first. Because it's the most valuable ki kill right now. So, like, if I got disconnected or something, I wanted to skin that crane first. Because then those feathers are in my satchel. And it'll be saved for me. Or if someone runs up on me for PvP, you never know what's going to happen. Actually, yeah, I, I do actually end up getting shot at here. By some player that's like way off in the distance. I rush at him and kill him. And then after killing him, some other person that seems to be in a completely different posse shoots me for no apparent reason. I don't get that. But, you know, I did kind of like rush up on that posse. But when I respawned, I found my horse still had both of my three-star spoonbills and this alligator hide on it. And, you know, I know that, you know, I could get an alligator carcass and throw up there, but I, I just couldn't find one, and I didn't really want to mess around trying to find one. It's like, when you're doing the server hopping here, you just take what you can get. You, okay, now see, I just got sniped at there. You might have heard that bullet whiz by. And I'm, I'm looking at my outer rings right now. I'm like, I got dead. I, I can go play with this guy for a minute. He took another shot at me. Unfortunately... This posse here was just like in passing at the wrong time and the wrong moment. They might have thought I was some sort of an aggressor. I don't know. I didn't go after them for them killing me here. Because he just shot me down and then I ran myself over with my own horse. But, you know, like once I respawn and I saw my horse still have my stuff on it, I'm like, all right, I'm just, I'm gone. Like, I'm, I just want to go sell this stuff. I'm not, 
I, I just released a Slippery Bastard video, like, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, if that. And that took place after this hunt. Alright, that's like a continuation of this hunt. But, you know, I'm just trying to do some hunting, so... You, you know, I, those guys are going to have to get avenged on another day. Pretty standard fare these days. And as you can see, I Appreciate sold all this to the butcher. I earned forty-one dollars and seventy cents in sixteen minutes, along day. with three hundred ninety-six XP, which translates to one hundred and fifty-five dollars and forty cents per hour, and almost okay, fifteen hundred XP per hour. It's not a bad run. So you know, I head over to the post office, fill up on my ammo, craft some more split point. See if I can craft any explosive ammo. Then I close the application and restart it. And I will be... Now, because I died, I'm not going to be spawning back in on that road. I'll be spawning in a little bit different spot. But now that's no big deal because we know how to control where we spawn in. So I'll catch you next time. Until then, happy hunting and happy trails. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks, everyone. I really appreciate you.